don't get a degree just for a degree's sake. Get a degree because it's going to open the door you want to go to. And while you're working on that degree, get a job in the field. I don't care if you have to get third shift, meaning midnight to 8 a.m., doing help desk support for the local telecom company. If it has something to do with IT, get your foot in the door. Start doing something because it'll start building that resume. Sometimes, for instance, if you're already like a 30 or a 40-year-old professional doing something else and you're making uh, 50 or 60 or $70,000 a year and you have to step back to take that $40,000 a year help desk job just so you can get into the IT side, it's going to be worth it in the long run because once you get that experience, you can jump in very quickly to get into those jobs that you want to do. I know you guys talk with Leo a lot and you talk with Tu a lot and you, and you can see that there are a lot of jobs in the area that we work. Uh, I know Leo's out here on the East Coast like I am. I happen to be in the Baltimore, uh, Washington, D.C. area, and we cannot find enough qualified people. Now, the, the, when you start looking at that, that's another thing you got to think about. Uh, one of the groups I'm in, I had somebody who was complaining, hey, I'm located in, I can't remember the city, but it was someplace in Kentucky, and it was a small town. And he was like, hey, I can't find a job. And I said, well, you're trying to find a cybersecurity job at a place that doesn't have a cybersecurity workforce, right? There's no companies there hiring for cybersecurity. If you're trying to make that $100,000 position, you got to go to cities that can support $100,000 a year salary. And when you talk about cybersecurity, the big one right now is Washington, D.C. and Baltimore and everything in between those two cities. Um, those are one of the highest places. There was an article that two put up on the, web, on the Facebook group today uh, that mentioned cybersecurity and the fact that this area is now the Silicon Valley of cybersecurity. Now, why do you think that is in America? Why is it on this East Coast side? Why is it out in California with the West Coast? Because that's where all the tech silicon boom is. That's where all the designers are. That's where all the software programmers are. Why is cybersecurity really focused here on the East Coast? Well, it's pretty simple. That's where the head of government is, right? That's where the White House is. That's where Congress is. And that's where those three-letter intelligence agencies are. And that's where DHS, Department of Homeland Security, is, right? Department of Homeland Security does a lot with cybersecurity, right? They have the computer incident response team. They have CERT. Um, and those guys are really interested in cybersecurity. So guess what? Lots of companies are in this side because that's where the government contracts is. And that's a large pool of that cybersecurity workforce. And so if you're looking for a cybersecurity job, I can tell you in this area, there is a boom on it. Uh, in my community college classes that we taught, we would put students through a one-year program. They would get their A+, their Net+, their Security+, and their CCNA. So they got four CERTs out of it. They did not get a degree. They did not get an associate's degree. They only did half of an associate's degree. And they were starting out between forty dollars and $60,000 a year getting jobs as security analysts, as junior security analysts, because they had the CCNA, the Network Plus, the A Plus, the Security Plus, and they could read logs and they can do analysis, and that got them in the door. Now, fast forward two years, three years later, they're making $75,000, some of them up to $100,000 because they've gone and expanded themselves. Now they've got that job, they've been working on their degree in, in the evening, gotten to that manager level or to that senior analyst level, depending on which track they wanted to go, and they're really expanding themselves there.